we're going to look at problem 1-4. Eagle Corporation operates magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, clinics throughout the Northeast. At the end of the current period, the company reports the following amounts. We have assets equal 50,000, liabilities equal 27,000, dividends equal 3,000, revenues equal 14,000, and expenses equal 9,000. The first requirement is to calculate net income. Okay? So I'm going to let you take a minute to look at these figures and figure out requirement one, how do we calculate net income? Then requirement two, calculate stockholders' equity at the end of the period. Okay? <laughs> So, our net income is basically what, guys? Revenues minus, minus expenses equal our net income. So, our revenues are going to be 14000 our expenses are nine, and that gives us net income of Okay, then the next one has to do with stockholders' equity, right? How do we calculate stockholders' equity? Assets minus liabilities equal... Stockholders' equity. Our assets are 50000 Our liabilities are 37000 27000 That means our stockholders' equity has to be 23000 Does that make sense how we can calculate these missing pieces? Let's, do you guys have that? Let's look at 1-5. 1-5, Cougars Accounting Service provides low-cost tax advice and preparation to those with financial need. At the end of the current period, the company reports the following amounts. Assets equal 19000 liabilities equal 15000 Revenues are 28, expenses are 33. So, take a minute and let's figure this one out, okay? So, uh, 1-5, so in this particular situation, we've got our revenues,
Our revenues are how much? 28. Our expenses are? This is not a good thing. What does that make our net loss? Okay. Our assets are? 19. Our liabilities? And our stockholders' equity is going to be the difference. Do you guys get that? Is it kind of clicking? Next, let's look at 1-6. Okay? 1-6 says, below are the account balances for Boy Cowboy Law Firm at the end of December. Use only the appropriate accounts to prepare an income statement. I kind of helped you out on this one. But what is in an income statement? Revenues minus expenses, correct? So I kind of helped you, but still it's a great exercise to just go through the steps of showing the service revenue minus salaries expense of 2200 utilities of 1200 that totals 3400 and the net income the 9300 minus the total expenses of 3400 yield net income of You and now? 5900. Rock it. Perfect, guys. Yes. Accounts payable. That when you have a payable, it's a liability. The, so think accounts payable, one piece of it probably is an expense. But if you haven't paid the money, you owe it. So, and we're going to talk about that. Every event has two sides to it. So you may owe supplies expense, and you may, may not have paid it, but you need to pay it. So on one hand, it might be, a utilities expense or an expense. On the other hand, it's accounts payable because we have a double entry system we're going to talk about. Good question. Dual entry system. Okay, guys, so moving on here, we're not going to worry about 10 right now. Um, business structures. No, primarily there's three big types of structures in the United States. Sole proprietorships, which is the largest number of businesses. Partnerships are owned by two or more. Corporations are businesses that are legally separate from its owners. Corporations, of course, take up the largest amount of business, but the largest number of businesses are in the form of sole proprietorships. Businesses engage in three types of activities. Financing activities, investing activities, and operating activities. So basically, financing activities are activities that include transactions the company has with investors and creditors, like issuing stock, borrowing money from a local bank, or paying dividends. Investing activities include transactions involving the purchase and sale of big resources or assets that are expected to benefit the company for several years, like purchasing a building or purchasing equipment. Then, once all that gets going, now a company can do what it's created to do operating activities. 
These include transactions that relate to the primary operations of a company, like providing products or services to customers and the associated costs of doing so. So companies are broken up into three, or, or do three main types of activities. Financing, it's a way of they, that they get their funds to start. Investing, the purchase and sale of resources that provide more than one year of benefit assets. And operating activities, why the company's in business. <laughs> financing activities, issuing stock, investing activities, um, purchasing assets, operating activities, um, anything to do with getting the company going, be it hiring employees, uh, paying employee salaries, um, um, inventory, selling goods, having insurance um, contracts or paying for insurance, everything that's in the normal course of making money, okay? <laughs> now we're going to switch back and we're going to go to exercise 1-1. The following is a list of transactions and a list of activities. And what we're going to do is determine which of these activities or transactions is in linked to what type of activity? So when you borrow money from a bank, what would that be? Yes. Perfect. It's financing. Provide services to customers. Operating. Issue common stock to investors. Financing, it's a way we bring in money. Purchase land, investing. Pay rent for the current period, operating. Pay dividends to shareholders, financing. Purchase a building, awesome guys, awesome. Now, who wants to take this one? Um, Javon, I think you get to pick. Jay Vaughn. Uh, and your name, sir? Nick. Nick. Nick, go. Transactions related to the primary business activities of the company, such as selling goods and services to customers, are referred to as C. You, how many agree? Are you sure? Perfect. Okay. How about another one, Nick, since you did that one so well? Transactions of the company that include the purchase and sale of long-term assets are referred to as the investing activity. Awesome. Should we keep Nick going? Okay. Determine how financial accounting information gets communicated through financial statements. There are four primary financial statements. The income statement. We've already talked about the income statement, haven't we? The statement of stockholders' equity that we're going to go into detail. The balance sheet, which we've actually already talked about, you just don't know it. Assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity is the balance sheet. And then we're going to talk about the statement of cash flows. So the income statement is the financial statement that reports the company's revenues and expenses over a certain period of time. It shows that the company was able to generate enough revenue to cover the expenses of running a business. If revenues exceed expenses, we've got net income. But if expenses exceed revenues, we are in trouble, right? So the income statement um, basically compares revenues and expenses to see if we're making money. 
Here is the income statement for Eagle Golf Academy. On December 1st, Eagle begins operations by offering lessons for golfers. And in the first month, it reports its income statement shown here. Let's take a look at how this is laid out. First of all, you see a heading. You see the name of the company. You see it described what this statement is representing, the income statement, and it tells you for the period. Really important. That is a piece of the income statement. The next, as you can see, it's broken into two sections, revenues and expenses. The difference is net income. You see within each section, we show the accounts and their balances. One secret with expenses, it's almost always going to have the word expense after it. Okay? And revenues, <coughs> almost all of them are going to have the word revenues after it too. Okay? So the income statement here shows that in the month of December, Eagle Golf provided services of 7200 and the expenses associated with generating those revenues are $6,000, right? So the net effect is the net income. The Academy is showing net income of $1,200 for the month. This, guys, is the income statement. Next is a statement of stockholders' equity. The statement of stockholders' equity summarizes the change in stockholders' equity over a period of time. So oftentimes it has two primary components. It's got common stock and it also shows retained earnings. Now, common stock represents amounts that we get coming in from investors or that get invested by stockholders, the owners of the company, because they're purchasing shares of stock. Remember, like with Eagle Golf Academy, they were investors. Common stock is an external source of stockholders' equity. It's coming from outside the company. Retained earnings on the other side here is an internal source of stockholders' equity. This retained earnings provides you with, since the beginning of the company's inception, all the net income that was brought in throughout the, all the periods, minus any net losses that get subtracted, minus any dividends that were paid out to shareholders. So the two components of stockholders' equity include the common stock, that initial investment by those people outside of the company that bring their monies in, plus retained earnings are the net income that gets generated each year that gets put back into the business, minus any dividends. So here's an example of the stockholders' equity section for Eagle Golf Academy. So basically, the beginning balances are all going to be zero. Why are they zero, guys? It's a brand new company. And do you remember the company is started by issuing common stock of 25000 So in this period... Common stock was issued of $25,000. Also in this period, do you remember how we had net income of $1,200? And then we paid out dividends of $200. So this statement of stockholders' equity starts with the beginning balances, shows the various transactions that occurred that affect stockholders' equity throughout the period, and then at the end summarizes or totals stockholders' equity. Okay? So let's take a minute and look back at exercise 110.
actually, let's do one seven, guys. I'm sorry. While we're here, let's do one seven. <coughs> At the beginning of the year, January 1st, Buffalo Drilling had $11,000 of common stock outstanding. Eleven thousand. Did I say eleven hundred? Eleven thousand, and retained earnings of eighty-two hundred. During the year, Buffalo reports net income of eighty-five hundred, and pays dividends of thirty-two hundred. In addition, Buffalo issues additional common stock for eight thousand. We have to prepare this statement of stockholders' equity. So the way we're going to do this, guys, is we're going to begin by inserting the beginning balances of the year. It tells us the beginning balance of January 1st is um, common stock, of 11,000 retained earnings of 8,200. So that means our total stockholders equity section would be what, guys? Nineteen thousand two hundred bucks, right? I find chapter one in here. <clears throat> okay, so basically what you're going to see here. I wonder why that happens. <coughs> I think I have to just Okay. So, thank you for telling me that. You see it now. 71 or 17. So, basically as you see here, we've got the beginning balance January 1st, common stock of 11,000, retained earnings of 8,200. For total stockholders' equity of 19.2. Then the problem did tell us that it issued common stock for $8,000. Didn't it say that? Mm -hmm. Buff Buffalo issues additional common stock for $8,000. So we want to go back here and input issuance of common stock. $8,000. Okay, everyone follow me so far? Then it said, during the year, Buffalo reports net income of $8,500. So we're going to want to show that. Add net income, $8,500. Then the last thing it tells us, it pays dividends of 3200 so we're going to show less dividends of 3200 this is the format we will always use for the statement of stockholders equity we begin with the beginning balance we show the changes that occurred during the year remember if we issue common stock, that increases our stockholders' equity. Net income increases our stockholders' equity, but dividends 
Why do dividends decrease stockholders' equity? Because we're paying dividends out of stockholders' equity back to the shareholders. Therefore, we, we are reducing how much we have. So the beginning balance plus the issuance of common stock plus our net income minus our dividends give us our ending balance. Does that make sense, guys? Pretty good? Okay. Back to the balance sheet. Okay. So now the balance sheet is something you actually have done, but we're going to do it in a, a more detailed manner. It's the financial statement that presents the financial position of a company at a particular point in time. The financial position of a company is shown as its resources equal claims to those resources. We know resources are assets, and claims to those resources are liabilities and stockholders' equity. I want you to think of a balance sheet as a snapshot, a picture. Think about this, guys. On Friday morning at 8 a.m., I may have $10,000 sitting in my bank account. I can take a snapshot, but two seconds later, guess what happens? The bills go through, okay? So by 10 a.m., I could take another snapshot, and it might be minus $400. Do you get why it's a snapshot? They're always changing. Assets are always evolving and changing. Liabilities are changing owner's equity. That's why a balance sheet is a snapshot, sn, sn, snapshot at one point in time. Whereas an income statement or a statement of stockholders' equity covers a period of time. Does that make sense? I mean, does a bank care? Oh, but at one time I had 10000 in my account. I know right now it's minus 400 but <coughs> no. It just, it's always changing. Okay? what well, You get what I'm saying. It's a snapshot. So, we've got revenues, we've got expenses, we've got balance sheet accounts, We've also learned about certain activities, investing, financing, and operating activities. So if you go to 1-2, you never thought we could get so much done today, huh? If you go to 1-2, how is each classified in the income statement as a revenue or expense or in the balance sheet? as an asset, liability, stockholders' equity? And what type of activity is it? Is it investing, financing, or operating? Now, I will tell you I don't like this question because I think it's tricky. Falcon purchases common stock of Wildcat. So what they're asking is, Falcon is actually going in and buying some stock. So we're not dealing with Wildcat's account, we're dealing with Falcon. Okay? Yes. It is investing, and it is totally investing. Where it gets confusing is we've just been talking about issuing stock, and so it can get tricky because Falcon's actually going out and buying stock. It's an investment. It's an asset. Okay? Now Falcon borrows from Wildcat by signing a note. What's that, guys? A liability, isn't it? When we borrow money, it's a claim that will present a future sacrifice. The future sacrifices, we have to pay back that money, don't we? 
Wildcat pays dividends to Falcon. Now remember, we're dealing with Falcon's books. So when Falcon gets dividends, it's revenue. Okay? Then Falcon provides services to Wildcat. We're dealing with service revenue. Then when Falcon pays interest to Wildcat upon borrowing, it's going to be interest expense. So the various accounts, this is an asset and it's an investing activity. Remember when you go and buy assets, you purchase assets, it's investing, right? When you borrow money, what is it? A liability and it's financing. Wildcat pays dividends. In this case, it's revenue and it's an operating activity. That's They're in the business of making money by le um, lending money. Falcon provides services. Again, revenues and operating. That's why they're in the business. And then Falcon pays interest upon borrowing. This is actually operating expenses. <coughs> Falcon pays interest to Wildcat upon borrowing. It's an expense because it's an interest expense. See, this one is a little tricky for starting so young, or right off the top. But it is an operating expense because that's why they're in business. That's why it's a little tricky. You know, it's too late. Okay, now let's look at the balance sheet of Eagle Golf Academy. Look what's happening here, guys. The first thing you notice is the time period included in the heading. Remember, the income statement and stockholders' equity happen over an interval of time. But the balance sheet reports assets, liabilities, and then stockholders' equity only at a point in time. Do you see that our total assets of 40000 equal our total liabilities plus our stockholders' equity of forty? Do you see how it balances? Total liabilities are 14000 the total liabilities of 14000 show amounts owed to regular vendors, which would be in accounts payable. And then there's items like the amount we owe to salaries, utilities, interest, bank borrowing. You notice almost all of these have the word payable after them. I'm giving you a little hint to know how to determine if it's a payable or a liability because it's going to have the payable after it. We notice in our assets, do you see we have a variety of assets? Every one of these is a resource that will provide a future benefit. Cash, accounts receivable, supplies, equipment, and other assets. The difference between our assets minus these liabilities <coughs> has to be, it has to equal. It's 26000 isn't it? Right? And the way we got 26000 is we know we have shareholders that have contributed 25000 We know we made income of 1200 didn't we? And then do you remember we paid out dividends of 200 That's how we came up with our $1,000 of retained earnings. Who wants to take this one? Nick, you can call on the next person. What is your name? Callie. Callie. Now, let's talk about what's in an income statement, guys. Revenues and expenses. 
Accounts payable appears in what statement? Balance sheet. It's a liability. Cash is an asset in the balance sheet. Dividends is ultimately going to be part of stockholders' equity. So, Callie, what's the answer? Rent expense. Guys, generally revenues have the word revenue in them. And expenses have the word expense most of the time. Okay? Okay, Callie, you get to call on someone unless you want to take this one again. What is your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa if you want to pass, you can pass. Or you can read it and have your neighbor help you. Good. Woohoo! We got it right. Okay?